Welcome back. In the previous video, we configured StealthWatch and ICE for integration to share contextual information. In this video, we're going to take that configuration a step further and configure it for action so you can do quarantining actions in ICE from StealthWatch. So to start out, we're going to have to configure a few things inside of ICE to make that work. The first thing we'll do is go to Administration and PX Grid Services. What we're going to do is add our SMC uh, PX Grid client to a group called ANC. That's Automatic, uh, or I'm sorry, Adaptive Network Control. That it basically says that this uh, PX Grid client can take action. So we'll go ahead and click, click on it, click Group, and choose ANC, and click Save. The next thing we'll do is we're going to create what our adaptive network control policy is. Um, so if we go down to policy list, there shouldn't be anything to start. If anyone's ever seen a Cisco Live Talk or you know any sort of SED, SEVT training with uh, with Aaron Woolen, he'll say this over and over again. Quarantine is just a tag. It's it's a bucket you put somebody in. There's it can be mean anything uh, in your policy. It could mean internet access only. It could mean knock them off the network. It could mean give them a full access to network. Quarantine is just a word or bucket you place them in. So we're going to create three different buckets and you'll see that the action will say quarantine on all of them, but it doesn't do anything until we create the policy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name this one um, quarantine for obvious reasons. Um, and this is going to be the one that knocks them off the network. Second one, we're going to call call it internet and that's going to be internet access only. And again, see the action is quarantine, but it's You'll see what I'll do with it. It's not actually going to quarantine anything. And the la last one, I'm going to call this one Pink Fluffy Bunnies. <laughs> That's going to be also quarantine as well. So right here with this just configured, it's not doing anything. Like I can quarantine something in Stealth Watch, and I don't have a corresponding policy set uh, policy set up inside of ICE's policies that does anything with this. So in order to use these, let's go over to Policy Sets. And let's go to our policy set that we're using. And I'm going to put this under global exceptions. You can also put it under local exceptions. As, um, it's up to you. But I'm going to start out with uh, call it, with the first one will be quarantine. And that's just the one that will kick them off the network. So the condition for this one will be ANC policy equals ANC policy equals quarantine. Does that mean it quarantines it now? No, uh, means I actually have, I still have to put the authorization profile in. So for the results, so I'm gonna go ahead and do deny access. Then I'm gonna copy this below and we're gonna call this internet only. And once again, we're gonna choose our ANC policy and this one is going to be internet. And instead of deny access, I'm going to go ahead and put this as internet only. And insert rule, new rule below. And this one is going to be pink fluffy bunnies because it's a surprise. Oh, I should have copied that. Oops, my bad. So I'm just going to once again get my ANC policy. And we're going to do pink fluffy bunnies. And this time, I'm just going to give it full access. So we've got, if we choose uh, quarantine, it, didn't, it drops it off the network and keeps it off our network. Um, we, if we choose internet only, it's going to give an internet only da downloadable ACL. And pink fluffy bunnies is the option for permit access. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I have a host on the network right now um, on one of my switches. This, this one, this is uh, me logged in, as you can see here. The uh, so I'm going to change this really quickly so we can see it a little bit better. So the authorization policy is just my admin and it gives me admin access. So let's go over in StealthWatch and find that host. We can I can look for the IP address uh, up here if I wanted to. If we're going back here, you can take a look. It's uh, 10.1.106, or I can you know look up all the devices that I'm signed in on. I'm just going to do 10.100.6 and pull up that host. Oop. Maybe not. Let's see users again. Oh. 
So here we go. This is the current one for. So this is the ICE and ANC policy where I can choose which one to apply to it. So right now there's no policy applied. It's just whatever the regular, uh, you know, policy set that it hits. Now from the drop down, I'd have all three of these. So I can change it to internet access and click save, and it's going to send a signal over to ICE that changes that level, that access. So let's just give it a moment while it does that. And as you can see here, it's now saying internet only. If we go over to uh, adaptive network control, we can see our endpoint assignment. It's now in policy internet. So let's go back here and let's change it once again. I'm going to give it a different policy this time. Um, let's go ahead and give it pink fluffy bunnies. And as you can see now, it's pink fluffy bunnies is uh, now defined. If I go over to the endpoint list, I now see that that endpoint is basically in that bucket, that pink fluffy bunnies bu bucket. And now if I want to boot them off the network and just, you know, say, you know, you're doing something really bad. I'm going, you know, F you, I'm going to quarantine you. I'll click save. And no matter how many times this, tr this endpoint tries to get back on the network, it's going to get booted off. So just give it a moment. You'll see that, uh, come through. And there it is, quarantine. Now, um, you can remove the profile or the uh, policy from here. Um, or you can go up to adaptive network control and the endpoint uh, policy assignment. And if it's listed under there, as you can see, it, re it took care of it really quickly. You can also just uh, check the box next to it and click trash. It's not destroy, you know, deleting the endpoints, deleting it out of the endpoint assignment list. And with that, that's just kind of wanted to show you the uh, adaptive network control, uh, adaptive network control inside of ICE and StealthWatch's uh, PX grid configuration. Um, and again, I wanted to emphasize that quarantine doesn't necessarily mean quarantine. It can mean anything you want, and you can create multiple policies and buckets to put them in if you wanted to choose one or the other. Um, with that, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that was pretty clear for you.